Kate from AloneStarStateOfSouthern.com. I am back showing you a highly requested video, and that is how I do my hair in most of my blog posts. On the blog, you'll see that in a bunch of my outfits, I have this hairstyle, and it's, I don't really know what you call it, but I would say it's got a little bit of volume, it's got a little bit of bend. I'm just going to run you through the tools we'll be using, and that is kind of every tool in our toolbox. We're going to start off with a blow dryer, then we are going to use a straightener. Finally, we are going to top everything off with a wide barrel curling iron. Everything I'm using will be linked below, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to start out, I shampoo and condition my hair, and y'all are going to laugh at what I use, <laughs> but it's called Big Sexy Hair, kind of to the point, I'd say. Um, I came across these in Marshalls, and you know they were on sale, and I was like, okay, like volumizing, I guess I could try it and just see, um, and I've ended up loving it. It really does give a good amount of body without being like, making your hair stiff, or like, you know, sometimes those like volumizing products can go terribly wrong. So I have actually really, really loved these. I will say one more tip before I get out of the shower. It's the worst thing ever, but I turn it all the way to cold. Um, and I will run that really cold stream of water over my hair for like five seconds. It's torture. Um, but it's a really good way to, I guess, wake up in the morning. And that really adds shine. It really does. I'm not sure the science behind it, but it makes your hair more shiny if you that a little awful thing. So try it out. I, I think it's worth it. It's bad though. And then we get to the part where I blow out my hair. So what I always do is here's my part. I part it a pretty deep side part. I have these like shorter layers towards the front. So I will section it off right here um, and keep that little chunk forward and then I clip all my the rest of my hair back. I brush it to the opposite side and uh, that it naturally lays. So since it typically lays here, I blow dry it this direction and that's a tip my hairdresser Kristen taught me just to give it some volume. I just put it on full blast high heat um, and I will use this round brush to lift my hair up and really like get it dry at the roots. Now that that section is completely dry, I just flip it over to its normal side. And again, you'll see it's got a little bit of lift, which is nice. And then I move on to the rest. So I don't really use like a meticulous technique to dry out the rest of my hair. I kind of just take this and with my fingers or a brush, I'll run it through. The point is to not style it with this. We're just getting the hair dry. starting to get dry. Since I have such a deep part, I flip over my part to get kind of all, all that's under here dry. Really easy trick. Again, nothing really scientific or precise about it. Just flip it to the other side. And now you're left with this madness. Here's the reason why I even bother with blow drying my hair at first instead of letting it air dry um, it's because you get a lot more body and volume when you blow dry your hair. You are ready to go to the next step which is a straightener. The purpose of straightening our hair right now isn't to get it board straight. You really don't want to take out the volume. All I'm going to do is lightly run it at the very top portions of these um, pieces of hair just to get the frizz down and to make it a little bit more smooth. Take just a little clip and I will separate my hair into a half back, kind of like this. Again, nothing, nothing precise. Kind of my middle name when it comes to all this. Whatever is quickest. Then brush through these bottom pieces and separate a, a part. Like I said, this is probably like three or four inches wide. Doesn't matter. And lightly run it over the top. The good thing about this is it takes hardly any time at all because you're doing such a cursory job. Um, so I straighten it to about here and then release. 
because you don't really want to take the curl out of the very ends of your hair. There we go, that's it, super quick, and I will just continue and do that across all of my head. Okay kids, we are to the final steps and stages of this look, um, and this is really the quickest part, I think, um, but you get the most bang for your buck out of this little step. All I'm going to use is this Conair Curling Iron. I have it set to the highest temperature, and all I'm going to do is curl the bottom few inches of my hair really quick. We don't want Shirley Temple curls. This is just to give it a little bit of a flip and at the bottom. Brush through everything, then just grab like, I guess I do, I don't know the width, but you can see it's not a ton of hair. Um, and for the front sections, I will curl up a little bit higher. You'll see that that's just for these like front couple of pieces in order to like frame your face, I suppose. Put the clamp towards the front and don't hit yourself in the face with this like I almost did. I would say just slide it to the very end. Roll it up just a few times. One, two, three. I kind of wait for like three seconds and let it down. Don't touch it yet, don't spray it, just kind of leave it there. And then proceed to do this all around your head. So just grab another section, nothing precise. This one's a little bit wider, but that's great too. The bigger sections of hair you use, the more soft the wave is. And so that's really what I'm going for. If you want tighter curls, feel free to use smaller sections, but just roll it out like this. Roll it up a couple times. One, two, three. Down. Then I just move to the other side and I'll curl it the other direction. Curl to the front, clip it on, roll it out, and then roll it up just a couple times. One, two, three, and drop it. Just throw it behind you so that you don't get it mixed up with these other pieces. Now when I get to this section of hair that's a lot thicker since the parts over here, I divide this into two sections, the same kind of thing. Grab a little section, roll it to the end, up just a couple times. One, two, three. Now that I've gotten to this front section, this is a little bit trickier for me just because of how my hair is styled. I first will do what I have been doing this whole time. Same kind of thing, curl it up hold for a few seconds and release. But then I'll take an even smaller front section right here and do the same thing and just a little bit higher. Now that you've gone over everything, um, I just take my hands and run through the curls like this. Oops, sorry. That is the finished product you'll see. There's a good amount of body, but it's smooth. It's got a little bit of weight. I use some Moroccan oil and I will just take the tiniest little pump, Ooh. rub it together and then just go over the ends of my hair and once I've done that, kind of make my way towards the top, just combing it through. If you have pretty fine hair, hair that gets oily quickly, you may not need that step, that's just for me because I have a bit more of a crazy mane going on. If you want to hold the style for a while, look at that rhyme. <laughs> I use this Garnier Sleek and Shine Anti-Humidity Hairspray. Shake it a couple times and just like lightly go over it. That doesn't sound right, does it? Well, <laughs> I hope it works. My hair's not on fire, so that's a good thing. I also do get a lot of questions on how I get a really bouncy ponytail. If you head to my blog, which is alonestarstateofsouthern.com, you may see a couple of posts where I wear a ponytail, and the process is the same. I use my hair, style it this way, and then just throw it up, and you'll see there's just so much volume and curl already that that's really all I do. Thanks so much for watching. I can't tell y'all how much I appreciate it. This was a video that was requested a couple of times, so I hope it helps those of you who are interested initially. I do want to let y'all know I am working on a question and answer video, so please, please, please leave me your questions below. 
Finally, check out the blog, a lone star state of southern.com, on Instagram, Lone Star Southern, and Snapchat, which is Lone Star Snap. I'd love to hang out with y'all there. Thank y'all again for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.